You're not going to believe this, but uh, Nintendo had an incredibly hype Nintendo Direct this morning. I wanted to talk about some of the cooler announcements that I really liked, so let's get into it right now. First things first, we have to talk about this. Uh, there apparently is going to be a Metroid Prime 4. They actually revealed it, and I'm going to be going through a lot of the announcements. Yeah, uh, Samus is back and looks better than ever. I did notice that graphically, this is looking a lot more impressive than, you know, Dread from a few years ago. Granted, it's a bit of a different design style. This is the Prime series. This is Metroid Prime 4. So we've had one through three. They've been around for a long time. We just got a remake of the original Metroid Prime. And I do hope that this means we're going to get a remake of some of the others. But <laughs> there's Samus. And it just looks so freaking good. Obviously, this has been con so this has been confirmed for 2025. And obviously, this has to be one of the titles that they're going to be utilizing to market their new handheld. We have known that they have new hardware. I think they've basically confirmed as much. And yeah, like I I like how she scans this pirate and it's just like this pirate is deadly injured and she just, uh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> I'm going to leave. So Samus leaves and uh, continues on her mission. Uh, the game's looking absolutely great. I'm so happy that we're finally going to get Metroid Prime 4. I'm a casual Metroid Prime fan. Uh I, I really liked Zero Mission a lot. I think Zero Mission, I believe Zero Mission was the remake of one. There were two on the, the Game Boy Advance that were remakes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, meant, I cut away before we got a look at whoever this villain is going to wind up being. But yeah, confirmed for 2025. And they closed it with that. I'm opening my video with it. But there were a few other announcements that y'all aren't going to want to sleep on. Game is looking great. People are obviously hyped to see more more metroid but there was also a zelda announcement so here here's what nintendo of america says it says it's up to princess zelda to save hyrule in a brand new the legend of zelda story the legend of zelda echoes of wisdom launches september 26 so this is coming out right away and the art style is reminiscent of i i can't remember what zelda was like zelda 2 where they took the art style made it look like this and it was an adaptation of the game boy game and very well received. Here we are. We see, you know, Zelda or not Zelda. We see Link doing his classic attacks and Zelda is encapsulated in the crystal. And what happens is it seems like we actually are going to get to play as Zelda for the first time. I think it's a really interesting concept, you know, turning the series on its head where Zelda gets to save Link. I know she has done that in the past, obviously, but it is really, really cool to see this art style used again to give us another Zelda story. I love this particular perspective that they utilize in the games. It reminds me a lot of A Link to the Past. One, I think A Link to the Past might be one of my favorite games of all time. I was not one of the Nintendo 64 Zelda kids. I was all about the Super Nintendo. And uh, yeah, this is Echoes of Wins Wisdom. And I'm just going to go a little bit further in where they show you some of the mechanics yeah, uh, as you can see, plenty of exploration. You're going to have to figure things out in different ways. She builds furniture <laughs> and she can utilize that to solve puzzles. Very, very interested to see what their take ends up being on Zelda. And I am hyped for this one. Uh, man, Nintendo. So those were two of the bigger announcements, in my opinion. But there was a lot of stuff. In addition to that, like I brought up Metroid, uh, Metroid Zero Mission. There was Zero Mission and there was Fusion. They also announced a handful of games coming to their expansion pack. Link to the Past Four Swords, obviously one of those games that are a little harder to get these days, has that, that design that I love from the old days from the Super Nintendo days and getting to see that that is coming. Uh, Zero Mission is also here. The only thing I don't like is, correct me if I'm wrong, internet users, but Switch Online, you need to have online to play these. And I, a big reason that I bought most of these games on my Wii U before they shut down the shop is because I have them on a device. I own them. I don't have to pay a reoccurring subscription fee. And all of these games were like a dollar for a while. So I spent like 50 bucks, got 50 games, and I have a lot of like the best Zelda games in existence. But that was another addition. Oh, yeah. And, you know, good timing. There was a Perfect Dark announcement 
bringing back the OG to from Nintendo 64 to the the Switch and the reason that another part of the reason that I'm kind of excited for this stuff is because we know that new hardware is on the way and with new hardware means updated visuals, updated graphics, uh, a smoothness to the frame rate that we can likely expect. Okay, so in addition to that, we got Donkey Kong Country HD, another one of my favorite Super Nintendo games from back in the day. Very, very excited to see Donkey Kong going back at it, getting getting his bananas, doing the, the regular quest. I played the heck out of this game back in the day. So a lot of this is just reminding me of my childhood. There were a few more announcements even beyond this. By the way, if you are a Nintendo kid or if any of these spark your nostalgia brain, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. And if it doesn't, or you're already subscribed, hit that like button if you like me making these videos anyway. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country, it's classic Donkey Kong Country. I love this. I am so excited to play again. Um, Nintendo's been remaking a lot of my favorites. Like they just, they remade Metroid Prime, as I mentioned earlier. They remade the uh, um, Legend of the Seven Stars. <laughs> it's like literally one of my favorite games. And there's just so many things in my brain from Nintendo this morning that I, I'm blanking on the name of it. Uh, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. They made that earlier this year and it was great. Now they're doing Donkey Kong Country. Uh, they're doing Donkey Kong Country Returns. So we have all of these HD games coming very, very soon. That's just so freaking great to see. Another game that if you slept on this one, don't because it's more fun than you might think. The Nintendo World Championship on NES, it is so freaking fun to play with your friends and try and get the high score on this. There was a competition. I was at this company, Screw Attack. I don't think they exist anymore, like in any capacity, because Rooster Teeth shut them down. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, I would play this game all the time, and it is so freaking fun. The, ma the main games were like uh, Mario, and you had to get a certain amount of coins. Uh, there was an Excite Bike one, but I would do I would do the run that was like it was Mario, the the car game, and Tetris, and I think that was the original. So it, it is really cool to see that they're releasing this in a digital fashion, and I think speedrunners are going to go nuts with this. Oh, the rewind feature, I don't like so much because you got to get that perfect run, but I guess it'll help you get a little bit better, right? Oh, and you can post your high scores. That is so cool. So. Very excited about that one. All this was during the Nintendo Direct today, which was nuts. But there was one other addition that I think surprised and delighted a lot of people. That was an announcement from Marvel. Marvel vs. Capcom, the fighting collection is going to include arcade classic, seven legendary games, one super heroic collection. We're going to get Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The Marvel Punisher beat em up was in there. Maybe they have a list of all the games here at the end. Let's just go to the end here. Yeah, so Mar okay, here. We'll just do the logo splash. I love I played these in the arcade so so freaking much. So there's a bunch of different modes, the Punisher, I'm definitely going to get this. So I think that was X-Men Children of the Atom. They go through them really fast cuz there's seven of them. So we got X-Men Children of the Atom, Marvel Super Heroes, X-Men versus Street Fighter, Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter, Marvel versus Capcom. I think that was one, Marvel versus Capcom 2. The Punisher, wow. So like all in one collection, definitely, definitely worth it. I still have some of these on the 360 arc. Like I think the 360 did Marvel versus Capcom. They did Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and they did uh, Marvel versus Capcom 2. But you know what? I am a sucker for great collections and that looks like a good collection. I think I still have my Marvel versus Capcom 3 disc, so I don't really need that one. But all of that. All of that was revealed during the Nintendo Direct, and I didn't even touch on like the, the Dragon Quest stuff and all of the other reveals, so if I missed anything in the comments below, let me know what I missed that you really liked, but wow, what a conference. Thank you for watching, everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Uh, I don't cover Nintendo very much, but I am a Nintendo fan, obviously. I was a Sega kid that ended up being a Nintendo kid by the end of that console generation. Thank you for watching. If you want to become a member and support this channel, you can do so. Thank you all. Thank you so much to the members who have supported the channel. I do greatly appreciate you. Click that join button right there if you do want to support. Check out my video yesterday talking about all of the stuff Xbox revealed. 
They just had so many great things, and I'm probably going to make a video about the Starfield thing. There's been a lot of news the last few days, so keep an eye out. Keep subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.